Right then, here we are, my first video. We'll see if this is any good or not. Uh, this is a Terramaster D5 300C unboxing and review. Let's see how this goes. So, as you can see, it came from Amazon. Uh, let's get into it. First of all, we need the uh, unboxing tool to open the box, which is, as you can see, Toby Tank. So, Let's use this uh, advanced tool to open the box. See what we get. As you can see from Amazon, so lots of uh, packaging. And another box. So, quite a small box really, quite light, um, what you'd expect. So we'll, let's see what we've got. Box of accessories. <clears throat> and the uh, Terra Master itself. Really do need to get a tripod if we're going to make a regular thing of this. So there we go. Looking rather decent. Well packed. So the box is self. Um, as you can see, numerous uh, hard disk drive lights and power switch around the front. Five bays. And uh, come out and uh, your drive clips in. Uh, or screws in, should I say, as you may expect. And around the back, we have two fans, power, USB C, uh, RAID options, uh, RAID 1. Um, on the first two discs and the rest of the discs individual. Uh, reset button and uh, some details there. Let's see what we've got in our accessory box. So, let's open this up. One screwdriver. A um, couple of feet. Of feet by the looks of it. Power pack, external power pack. USB C cable. Screws, more screws. Couple of feet. Hard drive stickers, warranty details, etc. And um, another screwdriver. And like a uh, mobile phone SIM card ejector button. We've, so we've just plugged it in. And um, not too keen of that. Uh, looks like there's a little, uh, looks like it's not plugged in properly, but I'm assured it is. Um, how to set up RAID on your instructions uh, here. I've not changed that yet, I'm just going to have a little play uh, login first uh, before we uh, put our hard drives in. Uh, if we just boot up, see what happens next. Uh, and um, should plug in the USB 2C cable and then. Uh, See what we can find on the computer itself, and we'll plug some hard drives in. So the main reason that we bought this is because I have got a number of hard drives laying around. Uh, may as well make use of them, and uh, this seems the best way and cheapest way of doing this. I'm looking at getting another NAS in the future, but uh, these hard drives are going to be too small for that, as these are all ranging from 500 meg, uh, 500 gig. Uh, to about three terabytes and uh, what we're going to be doing is buying some uh, four or eight terabyte drives later on so uh, this is just a uh, solution to use up the uh, 
older discs that uh, we've got laying around the place. So what we're going to do for now is um, install the uh, first two bays will be RAID 1 and uh, just put the uh, next hard drives in randomly. So I've served the I've got two two terabyte drives, they're going to be the RAID drives and the rest uh, what I've got basically. So let's uh, install them all. Uh, first of all starting with a Toshiba 3 terabyte drive. Uh, this uh, came out of my uh, NAS previously. Um, so we'll enter this and uh, see what happens next. To open it up, we just simply do this, pull the drive out, and as you can see, normal standard bay for a hard drive. And of course, the screwdriver and screws were all included. I should just point out that on the screws, um, I wasn't sure which ones to use initially, but um, it's quite clear each packet of screws are labelled so that we know which uh, which screws to use and also that 2.5 inch drives are absolutely fine to use uh, so uh, let's crack on with installing the first uh, drive so, uh, so let's just insert the drive now uh, as you can see all screwed in and uh, up in properly pop it in like that and um, shut like that and that's it that's in all very flush as the best YouTubers say. Uh, let's power on again and let's just check that walnut drive. Um, it would actually make sense to fill from the left hand side but um, just want to test, try it out, see what we find by yeah, filming, um, inserting from the right and then what we can do is uh, put all the drives in and uh, see what happens. Um, quick scout guide. Uh, here and instructed to go to this website, so uh, that's where we shall go next. So we've now gone to start.terra-master.com, and here we are. And this looks like some uh, sort of registration rather than anything useful, but let's uh, let's put it in anyway. Uh, DS300C number of bays, number of drive slots, should I say five? Direct access storage, and then my email address. Um, contents, packaging list, hardware, um, all sorts of options, including uh, have a free gift. So let's just uh, see what that is. It actually looks like this is a bit of spam or encouraging you to spam uh, but we'll have a look at that one off camera later on you might see my tweets about this all for the sake of a USB flash drive but hey ho we'll see if it's a good product don't see why not if it's shit then uh, I think we'll be saying that so it's taking me through my uh, it's going through the index pages um, one by one. As per the manual, it's just explaining what these things mean, what the light statuses are. And when I get a tripod for this, it'll be much easier so that I can actually see what I'm doing through the uh, computer and not, not reading the information through the uh, phone camera. Really important note about the hot swapping from there. Yep, yeah, that's all been done. We'll miss the video guide off. Uh, we've not changed the RAID yet, but uh, we can wait on that. USB C powering on. Use a red. We will come back to this shortly. What I'd like to do now is just see if our drive is showing. It will need reformatting, but uh, we'll see. Uh, 
and there they are straight away uh, the new drives plugged in there uh, I do want to repartition them because I want them to show as one big drive rather than uh, numerous small ones or I'll have uh, 25,000 drives at the end of this so there we are uh, the new volume is shown in there um, I've named it Terra Fibers it's in the fifth bay um, rather stupid really uh, because uh, one and two are going to be effectively the same but uh, never mind we can always change that later it's partitioned uh, to 2.7 uh, as you can see there um, so there we have it that's uh, up and running and done uh, we'll do the same for the rest of the drives and uh, that was quite an easy uh, process the only issue being triple quadruple checking that you're not formatting your existing uh, drive on your uh, computer um, one thing to point out which I didn't, uh, didn't say earlier is uh, hard drives go in uh, this way so um, as you can see the bottom of the drive like that um, they just uh, slot in like so uh, I'll put the rest in and then uh, we'll boot up again Right, so as we can see, uh, going quite well, um, but it does appear as though well, I've got a couple of problems with uh, two drives. Now, the drives have been laying around for ages, um, so no issue with that, but I just need to do a bit more investigating on that. And uh, I've got some spare um, laptop drives, 2.5 inch drives, which uh, will try. Uh, should uh, not be able to get these two uh, drives working properly.